Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brad. It's Tuesday, which means brand new comics are hitting bookstores all across the world. Now, these comics have already been released in comic book shops, but for those without comic book shop near them, this is your opportunity to get it at places like Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and so on and so forth. In my hands is one of the releases. This is Avengers Infinity War Prelude from Marvel Comics. Now, this includes the Avengers Infinity War Prelude number one through two by Will Corona, uh, Pilgrim, Ty Ertig, Walker... Jorge Fornes and Chris O'Halloran. It also includes Infinity Number One and Thanos Annual Number One. Uh, basically, Marvel's been putting out these like two-issue preludes to the various movies that come out. Uh, they've already been kind of they're all over the place when it comes to quality. Uh, this one is pretty good. Basically, it picks up at the end of Civil War, kind of recapping a lot there and uh, bridges to. Uh, Infinity War. Now what's interesting is it's really a recap more than anything else. It reintroduces us to the various Infinity Stones, why they're important, uh, some of the kind of major events that went around with them, and even hints into things like Spider-Man Homecoming, which is kind of cool. Out of all, them, all the ones that I've read so far, I actually think this one is my favorite, uh, partially because it doesn't really try to um, do too much of the story and like give background uh, it, it feels like a, a primer for from one kind of face to the next, which I think is really, really smart. Um, and there's a little bit of insight as to what was going on in between films. Now, I think what's actually really interesting out of this is that there is one particular scene that involves Black Widow, Captain America, and Falcon breaking up a weapons shipment in Syria. And the shipment was the United States sending uh, weapons to the uh, freedom fighters, the uh, whatever whatever you want to call them in Syria that are uh, basically rising up against the current government. And what's interesting is they break up the shipment from the U.S. to them, which means they're taking Assad's side out of everything. It was It's a very odd moment, uh, and they, I don't think it's really justified very well, or at least explained very well. Uh, you know, there, it is equipment of, like, Chitauri weapons, so that could be the reason enough that they just don't want uh, pro, uh, proliferation of those weapons around the world. But the way it's presented, it almost feels like they are taking Assad's side, which is just a very odd thing for Captain America to do. You would expect him to kind of rush in and stop a government that's committing genocide against various people. So it's, uh, uh, it's strange. It's really strange. Other than that, though, it's it's pretty good. So the art is is solid. Like you know, the it's never always art's never great in these things. It uh, but it's not bad. Uh, you know, definitely characters look like the characters. There are some moments that I think are captured really well uh, when it comes to Civil War. Let me kind of get some of those. I think it's kind of cool. Um, yeah. So like this is some of the Civil War stuff that's being recapped. So all that's is solid. Uh, also included is Infinity Number One and Thanos Annual Number One. Obviously, both of those have to deal with Thanos, who's the main uh, bad guy in Infinity War. So all that is is really great and kind of picks things up. Hopefully, they kind of tease enough that people will want to go and check out the rest of the series. Uh, I think Thanos Annual Number One especially is really good. Uh, you know, maybe it doesn't have quite the same motivations of, as far as characters between the movie and the comics, but, you know, it at least gives you a better idea about the character in the films, or in the in the comics itself. Uh, there are some variant covers and regular covers that are in there, and yeah, that's about it. So there's another variant cover. I mean, it retails for $15.99, and basically if you're a diehard fan of the movies, this does shed a little bit of light about what's going on between Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War. As I said, there's some weird politics in it. Uh, but that's about it. Like, it's it was entertaining. Out of all the ones that I've read with the movie preview or prelude, this one I think is probably the best of them all. Uh, so go check this out. You know, obviously Infinity War is out in late April, so you might want to get this beforehand. It's now in bookstores all over the place. We will uh, So you can go get it there. Obviously go get it in comic shops first and foremost. Go support your comic shops. We want to support comic shops. If you don't have a shop near you, we've got affiliate links beneath this video that you can order it from there. There are affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage. Now Marvel's hooked us up with this release, so I want to say thank you, and you can use that to uh, make your decision as to how much you want to actually like weigh in our opinion. Now, if you're into Avengers, or you're into Marvel, or you're into comics, if you're into Infinity War, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics, make my Marvel, and keep it geeky. 
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.